This is the fifth time Chuck McGibbon is in St. Joseph Hospital since his stroke two years ago. His wife, Fran, has always stayed in his room with him because Chuck gets confused and tries to get out of bed. The Avisys telesitter changed all that. Knowing that the camera was on him and somebody was observing him, I went home and had a, a peaceful night's sleep. I slept from 7 to 4 in the morning for the first time ever. The camera feeds video into the cockpit, where one technician watches over 12 rooms at once. This relieves pressure on nursing aides who used to have to monitor patients in person. That also provides a sense of security for our patients and for our family members. And they know that when they go home, they know that somebody's watching their loved ones 24-7. The telesitter is assigned to patients who are confused, have dementia or alcohol withdrawal. Any type of patients, when they come in, that we know that they're high risk for falls already. And if they have fallen at home, have a history of falls, if the tech sees a patient trying to get up or pull IVs out, he or she can talk to the patient directly through the monitor or send a message to the nurse. Attention, please do not get up. The tech can also sound a siren to get help to a patient immediately if needed. There's one more huge benefit. Gemma says in one month, the telesitter replaced more than 4,000 hours of nursing assistant work, saving the hospital almost $92,000. I'm Marty Salt reporting.